you all for being here today. My name is Adelina Marco, as Genta said. And um, here is the topic of my tutorial for today. Test Teach with Blend Space, how to create and find free multimedia lesson, or how to write your digital lesson in five minutes. So, um, here is a picture of me. I am an English and IT teacher, and I have been working in a general high school here in Albania for five years now. And I really like uh, using technology during my teaching process because it helps me a lot to teach and it helps students to remember longer and better. So we, uh, without further ado, I think we should start. So why blend space and what is blend space, first of all? For all uh, that haven't heard about it, Test Teach and Blend Space are the same thing. So, Test Teach is formally known as Blend Space. You can use a free Test Teach with Blend Space account to create uh, liner lessons to guide students through basic content. And it is totally free, everybody can use it. This virtual tool uh, integrates technology into the classroom while allowing better collaboration and communication between teachers and students. Blend Space creates a lot of benefits, like eliminating the possibility of students losing their papers, forgetting when their assignments are due, or missing lessons due to any kind of problem, because this is everything online. Besides its benefits to the students, as I said, Blend Space also benefits teachers in many ways especially when creating lesson plans for the online classrooms. For instance, Blend Space allows teachers to share learning materials with other users like students, of course, and fellow teachers, as you will see. So, you have just to make learning fun with Test Teach with Blend Space. This is very uh, important nowadays to make learning fun. Uh, the free and easy ad tech tool teachers love for lessons, projects, presentations, and more. You, you can't uh, just use them to create a lesson, but you can use it even to make projects, presentations, and so on. Educators, so us teachers, um, love Test Teach because it saves time by keeping links, videos, and digital content in one easy place. So you don't have to open the book open this, open that, you just open the account in tests and voila, everything is there. They use it to differentiate instruction, keep students engaged and make presentations more playful. So let's consider, for instance, a middle school biology teacher could share a lesson about photosynthesis and upload links, images, videos, text and short quizzes as well to help build students' knowledge have students design their own grids to review for a test, curate resources for a passion project or create presentation to share with their peers, then mix up the delivery by creating a virtual gallery work with links to students' projects, giving them an opportunity to provide feedback to their peers via the discussion tool, because we have a chat room in there and you can see the students' discussions as well. So, what can you do with test teach? You can create, you can engage, and you can assess. How? You can create because everything is done by you. So you can save time by collecting all digital content in one place, as I said. Everything is chosen by you, the material, the resources, the way, and so on. You can engage, of course, because you achieve learning goals with fun interactive lessons because nowadays it's very important to make our lessons entertaining for students so they no more like traditional hours just like blackboard and a book and you can assess of course monitor students understanding with quizzes and discussions after explaining the lesson you can make quizzes to see if students have understand all of the thing so, I wanted to share something with you from my experience 
before starting the whole of the thing. During these five years of teaching, I have also used traditional teaching just by using the blackboard and the books, but it didn't result as productive as I was expecting. Students were bored, they started to be just like robots, read, translate, speak in general, without any critical thinking. And that's why I started to use different ways just to make my classes more interactive, more entertaining, and of course, for students to understand the lesson better and to remember it longer, of course. And at the very uh, first time I started using tests, they were all just like, what is this? And considering the fact that I used a lot of videos, images, games, they enjoyed it, really. And the class was the best I had till that moment. I don't know, it may have teachers that don't have a good experience with tests, of course, I can say that but mine was perfect really uh, was something that i needed to share with you because uh, i used it and was something that really happened to me and of course i think a lot of teacher uh, struggle uh, with the students attitude nowadays so that's why we uh, should work on this to make the lessons entertaining playful and of course students um, to remember things longer and better as you can see, um, this is phase one. Phase one because I divided this tutorial into five um, main phases or into five main stages. And of course, the first stage is to sign up. This is a cup of coffee, as you can see, because it's very, uh, it's very easy, of course, to sign up as you are signing up uh, an Instagram or Facebook account so even to use test each you have to sign up and to have your own account how can you do that you just go to google of course you type test teach as you can see and you will click on the first link that is going to show up and after clicking it this is the thing you will see this is the front page of test blend space, as you can see. And here we have two main icons, which are sign up and login. So you, I, I guess everybody knows uh, which is the meaning of these, but you have to click on sign up if you are a first time user of test. And you have to click on login if you are a regular user. So let's consider ourselves that we are using it for the first time and we have to click on the sign up to register after signing up you will see this kind of a table asking if you are a teacher if you are a student teacher student or what are you so i put it there into teacher because i think we are all teachers in here and after clicking it this is uh, going to be shown on your computer so this is your account as you can see here is my name Adelina so this is my account and you can see different things in here new lesson join class create lesson and so on things that we are going to explain one by one so the first thing was to create and um, to have your account the, the second phase or the second stage is to explore options what kind of options does TAS offers to you? And as I said, to see these options, you have to click on the new lesson button. And after clicking it, you will see this kind of page. And all of these are the options that TAS offers for you. What does it mean? If you click one by one, they will offer something different and let's start with youtube so if you click on the youtube you will have all the videos that you need about your topic of course first of all you have to have a topic for example uh, if you are a, a biology teacher as i said you have to write down uh, photosynthesis if you are an english teacher you have to write down conditionals and stuff like that and YouTube will going to provide you with videos of that topic so if it is conditional all the videos are going to be about conditionals 
The second button is Google Engine. So Google Engine will provide you with all the materials about conditionals, let's say. The third one in here is Google Photos and you will have a lot of images about conditionals, tables, maybe. This is Flickr. It's kind of a web page uh, as Pinterest, I guess, and it has photos as well. And this is another web page that you can use for your lesson. The other thing in here is just like a chain, if you can see it. It's um, that you can put a link in here. So if you have any link of other pages, you have a game or you have something that you really liked, uh, you can paste it here and use it for your lesson, of course. The thing in here is test resources. So test resources, because test in itself can provide you with a lot of materials, a lot of videos that you can see and use for your lessons. Here we have um, Google Drive. Everybody has a Google Drive nowadays. Uh, you can have your own materials there and of course you can use them for your lesson dropbox as well so you can you might have uh, images materials uh, papers and by connecting it with your account you can use them as well for your lesson and here is the icon of a computer because you can upload files that you have in your own computer so you might have lessons you might have projects you might have powerpoints pdfs images everything that you might have in your computer you can upload it online in your test and you can use it for your lesson this is the most important thing and here it is the setting icon here you can see the view range so you can track your students who is following you, who is there. So in this uh, kind of a way, you can even see if the students are attending your class and are attending your lesson as well. So these are the most useful icons and options that TESS offers for you. But now everybody can ask, okay, you spoke about what is TESS and uh, options and click here and click there. But I want to know how to create a real lesson, so how to do that. And this is the phase number three, create a multimedia lesson. And now I want to show you a demonstration, a real demonstration, how to create that lesson. So here you have to click on the new lesson. It will directly go to the lesson page, which is this. It is familiar now because I already showed it to you. And of course, what I firstly have to do is to put a name to my lesson because of course we have different topics for different lessons and we have to specify it. So let's consider that today we are going to talk about model verbs. Model verbs. And it's okay. So this is the topic. when students are going to see the video model verbs they are going to um, to consider the fact that the lesson is about the model verbs today and now let's create our lesson here we have some squares where you have to drag and drop your resources your materials if you want to add you just click on the add row and you can add as many information as you can that you want Okay, let's start now. Let's click here, model verbs, and search for it. So, if I click on the YouTube icon, as I said, here will show up all the material about model verbs. You have to review, of course, in order the material to be appropriate for your students. And how to review? You just have to click. So, you have a preview in here, if you can see it and you can review it easily. So I already have seen this. I'm going to drag it and drop it to use it for my lesson and for my students. Okay, let's go to Google Engine now. 
we have a lot of information about, about modal verbs, and of course we have to review them because something might be wrong. And um, the writing center, for example, I click on it and have a look if it is appropriate. Models, what this handout is about, how to use it. So we have here an explanation. Okay, this is right. Let's use it for my lesson. Models. Let's go to Google Images. I need a table that includes all the model verbs for my students to use it. Let's have a look on this. Okay, here we have type, model, example. It is correct. Let's take this. Okay, I don't need any Flickr image. Just have a look of it. Now, link of a web page, as I told you. Here, I have a game that I found it about model verbs. And it was really beautiful because it can even help uh, students understand the models and even entertain them in a way. So introduction, drag the words onto the yellow bar in the right order. So you just have to drag the words in here to create a whole sentence. We could, which is a model, have taken a taxi, comma, but we walked, full stop. So I think this is a correct sentence. You can check, you can hint, or you can reset. Let's check it. Congratulations. So this is a good game for my students to use it. I just copy the link in here, copy and go to the test and paste it here. And you will have the page that you searched before. So let's drag it and drop it here. It's a website. So if I click it, it will directly put me to the game. Interesting. Okay. And now we have um, test materials. If I click visit test now, it will uh, go to the materials that tests have. Then we have Google Drive. If I click add your account, you will be connected with your account in Google Drive and you will um, you, you will be able to, to take all the material that you have there. Even Dropbox is the same thing. You just add your account and voila, it's okay. Now, computer. I have a PDF presentation in my computer about models. I just click it, open, wait just for some seconds, and the file will be here. You just drag and drop it. So you have your PDF from the computer using for your lesson. And if I click here, this is a presentation that I can use for my students in order to have a clear idea about model verbs. And it's okay, good. Now, as I told you, this pattern in here, settings, can track views on this lesson. If I click in here, I will track the views on this lesson and I can confirm who was part of my lesson. So I'm uh, saying for my students, um, of course. And you can enable comments. So you can uh, able or enable comments. If you want students to comment in this lesson or anybody that is going to see it, you can enable it. If you don't want it, you can enable it. So it's pretty simple. What can I uh, else do is to write text from my own if you click in here, add text, you can write anything you want. This is sort of a white board, and by clicking here on the body, you can write anything. For example, most important model models in English are can, may, should, have to, 
and so on. You can make a short explanation for each of them. You can edit them and do anything you want. So by selecting them, you can just bold, italic, play with the font, anything you want. And once we do done, it is saved in here. So this is um, the whiteboard, let's say, the thing that you wrote. And the last thing uh, that I want for my lesson is to add a quiz. So to have some question for my students, of course, if uh, they understood the lesson or not. You can add as uh, many questions as you want. So here we have just one, but we can add another. And of course, you have to answer a question. So why do we use the model can, for example? Question mark. And let's have um, two answers. You can add answers, of course, to make it harder, but let's consider it um, with two answers. So we use can for obligation or to express obligation or to express ability. This might be one of the questions. The second one, um, which is the model verb that we use for possibility? And we can write in here, should, may, and we have two questions. Once we click on done, we have our quiz. As I told you, you can make as many questions with as many answers as you want. And once students will, will click on it, they will have two questions. Why do we use the model CAN for obligations or ability? And they have to choose one of them. So, which is the model verb that we use for possibility? And they have to submit. You have to fix the answers, of course, because it was just to show you something. You have to put which is correct and which is wrong. And when they may submit, you will take all the answers of your students and you can be able to see um, if they understood the whole of the lesson or not. Okay, this is how the lesson looks like. I have a video, I have uh, Google information, I have a table, I have a game, I have a PDF presentation with, with the whole of the lesson, I have some notes, let's say tips or advices that you can give to your students, and finally we have a quiz. Okay, now phase number four, after making the lesson, you might share the lesson. Of course, you have to share it with your students and with anybody that you want. And this is pretty easy. After you have done the lesson, you just click on the share button. I will demonstrate here. So we did the lesson. We click on the share button in here and this kind of a table will be presented to you. So anytime you make a share, a lesson link will appear with appear to you. So, and this link will be sent it to your students or anybody you want to see your lesson. And how can you share it? Just by clicking the icons in here. So, if you have a Google Classroom, you can share it with your Google Classroom. You can share it via email just by entering the email addresses in here. Type your custom message here. For example, this is the lesson for today and just make sense. Or you can share it in your Facebook or you have a QR code, anything you want. We have even a privacy mode um, who can view this lesson. So if you want to see it just by yourself, you click on only me. If you want to see anyone, you can click on anyone. And if you want just the students that you send the link, only people with the link and my students.
And of course, uh, which resources can be copied from this lesson is very important because um, anytime we type in Google, we see that we can copy some information and we can't copy some others. And this is because that person made the resources not copyable. So if we click on all resources, anybody can copy your resources and use them. Only public resources or none? I advise you none because it is good that your lessons uh, be yours. So this is the share button. As I told you, you will be provided with a lesson link. You can share it in different ways. Of course, the privacy mode in here. And phase number five, is other settings and logout. So what does it mean, other settings and logout? Despite of the new lesson, you have some other icons uh, when we speak about test teach. We have uh, to create a class. You just put the class name in here, the grade level. So for example, uh, the class name English class or history class or biology class or whatever. Uh, grade level, if it is a fourth grade, second grade, if it is high school, you have to choose it. And of course, just by clicking the create class button, you will create class. And after clicking on the create class, you will be provided with a code, always provided with a code that you will send it to your students because they will use it when they want to join your class. And here it is, the Join Class button. If you click on the Join Class button, they will be asked to enter a class code. If you have a class code, enter it here. So the teacher will provide you with the class code. And if you enter it here, you make Join Class and you are there. It's pretty simple. And of course, uh, the last thing is to sign up. You can just click on your account name in here, you click on the sign out and you are out of your account as you do with your Facebook, let's say, which is the most common uh, social media that we use today. So I think um, the five stages about uh, test teach were able to teach you what is, what is test teach, first of all, and how can we use it how can we create a certain lesson? It is very simple. If you do it yourself, it needs just five minutes. Of course, it may uh, need a little bit more if you have to review the materials, but if you have them ready or if you have them in your computer, you can create your lesson in just five minutes. And it's pretty easy to share them with your students or anybody you want to. And uh, for me, it was useful. I don't know if it will be for you as well, but for me and my experience was really beautiful with Test Teach.